this is Lady Lex UK and this is a Dreams Gadget tutorial. Um, right, we are in cameras and lighting and the second gadget in that selection is the camera pointer. Now, this is a gadget which um, I have not had much experience with. I've, I've never used it, to be honest, and it's only because I'm making this gadget tutorial that I've had a, a look at it and see what it does. Um, I watched the Media Molecule tutorial video, which is completely silent and there's no information really as to what they're doing and why they're doing it, um, which makes it a little bit hard to work out exactly what this is for, um, why you would use it, when you would use it, etc. However, let's just delete it for now. Um, I've just put in a spiral staircase, um, just thanks to uh, GH Rim for making this spiral staircase. Um, I've used this because that's what they had in the uh, tutorial video. They had a spiral staircase uh, and they used the camera for that. So it's it's quite handy to do something similar. Um, so here's my uh, player. So if, when I go in to the, to the world, the camera view you get is the one that is uh, from the controller sensor in our puppet here. So when I possess him, um, I can rotate the camera and walk with him. Um, if I don't rotate the camera, um, it still moves round with the player, though I can rotate the camera to an angle that suits me. And I get to the top of the stairs, like so. Right, so the camera pointer. If I was to place a camera pointer in the world, Like this and it actually doesn't matter where I put it um, it comes with a gizmo um, it has a green arrow and a purple slider now this this purple slider moves uh, around in 360 degrees and the green arrow you can change the um, uh, the, the direction of where the camera is going to point so if I move it like that for example then the camera will be pointing downwards now the camera in question is the one inside the puppet so if I go into play mode now you'll see there's the angle that I chose the direction um, of that purple line and it will follow my player exactly the same as before except at this new exciting angle the other thing it does it stops the right stick from working so I've got no control over the camera anymore and instead we get the view from this camera pointer like this now I think what is confusing uh, especially by watching the video is the thought that um, the, the, the position of this is relevant um, because in their video, they put them all along um, here, like this. They put them along the spiral staircase at different points, like this. So let's see what that does. Um, let's rewind it, getting back at the beginning. Um, so we've got this overhead view. And um, it doesn't seem to matter how many pointers I put in. Um, it's giving me a combination, I think, now of the two pointers. So it's a little confusing. Um, the video um, tutorial it doesn't explain itself very well. Right, so this is, this is how I think it's best to use it. Uh, the camera pointer, the direction it is in. Let me open up its tweak menu. Look at that that slider there. This is the angle, the 360 degree angle of the object. So the orientation of the actual gadget itself does make a difference. Okay. But the height of the gadget doesn't. So you can put this anywhere in the scene and um, in relation to the gadget only, it's going to affect the the camera view. So if I if I move this up and down, you'll see that's the elevation of the of the camera here, the tilt. So if you do it like this, then he's going to be the camera's going to be looking up at him from the floor. 
if I move it straight on it's what you would normally see that sort of a view and as we saw before overhead that's the view you get and it affects this camera um, obviously because it's a powered gadget you can turn this on and off and you can use trigger zones to say I don't want the camera pointer to be on until or uh, unless it's in a zone so for example um, let's put a trigger zone in I'll put a really big one in so I'm going to put a trigger zone in the world I'm going to put it in the middle of this I'm going to change it to a cylinder let's just tip it let's put grid snap on so I tip it there we go there we are and then I want this to only work so once you get to the top of that um, so this 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 zone let's see we want it so everything all of the stairs um, apart from the top few steps okay so then we've got detected and we'll wire that into the power of our camera pointer and I'm gonna we're gonna go with that and that shouldn't be on let's, let's rewind it there we go right so we've got our normal view we'll possess the, the the puppet I can walk around no problem at all if I get into the trigger zone though it has changed the camera angle and I've got no, tr no control of it so let's get to the top of the stairs and now I have control of it it is he's come out of the uh, the forced perspective and, and view from the camera pointer and I've got full control of him again but if I was to go back down there you go it's gone back down to the uh, to the angle from above right let's have a look at the camera pointer and its options then so now that we've got that set up we can fiddle about with this the zoom is pretty good um, so let's move the zoom out to 6.8 see what difference that makes there we go that's the difference it makes so now I've got a really high view so this is really handy if you wanted to make a um, a map you notice there's a transition between this and and our third person camera that we normally have it's a very slow transition and there is no way of altering it unfortunately there's no way of changing that transition to a quick cut or anything like that it does what it does which is a bit of a shame it'd be nice if there were some transition um, changes in that camera pointer so that you can so it doesn't do that slow transition backwards and forwards between the two because it is slow it is really slow going into your uh, preferred view but it's pretty cool and uh, for certain um, platforming situations very very useful indeed but like I say you could make a like a map uh, using a camera pointer so you uh, you can see the world from the top down using that zoom which is pretty cool um, so um, there's the zoom uh, this is sticky now I haven't worked out exactly um, this it says when the pointer is active the camera is locked to the pointer position okay so what this does when you turn it on there is a difference right so this is what happens and it follows the player it follows the player around okay 
if I stick sticky on then the position of the gadget now is more important because it's not going to follow the player it's stick it's like a fixed camera angle um, it's a bit flaky as well so um, I'm not sure about using that um, if you want it so it's, it's a fixed view and you're not following the, the, the player then you have to make sure that your camera pointer is uh, gadget is also in the in the right place I think um, that makes a big difference like I said before it doesn't really make a big difference except when you turn sticky on and then I think it does let's see There we go. See, and the transition between that and the other camera is really jerky when you've got sticky on. It's gone all gaga now. So I don't recommend it at all. I think it's a bit of a flaky thing. Um, so don't like don't like sticky. Um, I don't think I would be using that. Um, the activation output, this is just a wire that tells you whether or not the um, camera pointer is activated or not. That sends a one or a zero signal and you can use that to wire to other things that will be active. So for example, um, some lighting or whatever for the scene. So for example, let me put some lights down. Um, okay, so those lights, so here is our, here is our view, and then our lights have gone on from the activation output and then when we get to the top the lights will go off there we go so quite handy for 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 setting things up uh, that there otherwise these are just the your the tilt and the tilt and the zoom and you fiddle about with those to get your camera angle it's a shame that you can't actually tell um what you're actually doing, what the angle is actually doing without going in and con completely um, going into play mode and test. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Let me just check to see. Um, yeah, you can see it in test mode. Can you? Yeah. There we are. So you can see it in test mode here. Oh, it's all working. There we go. There we are. So that's the camera pointer. It's a pretty simple gadget. Um, probably more suitable for um, platformers than, than anything else, but um, there's lots of uses that you could bet put to that uh, for animation purposes, cutscenes, and that sort of thing. So that's what it does. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in your dreams.